One of the most common questions I get asked is what gear a starting out concert photographer should invest in to see the biggest difference in their photos. The gear a photographer uses is important, but it's also important that you acknowledge that gear isn't the only thing that will make you a better photographer. You need to practice. You need to figure out what works with trial and error, and you need to find an editing style that works for you. I can't recommend you buy one lens over another, but I can help you make some of your investment decisions with a little less complication. So we already know that capturing light is the hard part in concert photography. But if we think about what limits the light from hitting our sensor, it's the width that the lens opens and how our camera body processes the sensitivity to the light. You can learn more about this kind of stuff at photographytipsforabeginner.com, but in terms of gear, the quickest way to see a notable difference in your photography is to get a lens with a wider aperture. Any lens that can open to an f-stop between 1.4 and 2.8 will let in much more light and make things easier for you when shooting at a venue that doesn't have a huge lighting setup. These lenses are often more expensive, but Canon and Nikon have cheap lenses with an aperture of around 1.8. They're both 50mm lenses which can make things a little tight in some venues, but they are great starting lenses for live music photography. As you shoot more and have more money to spend, look at the Canon 24-70 2.8 lens or Sigma's art series of lenses which all open to around about 1.4. This photo was taken with a Canon 24-70 at 2.8. This photo was taken with a Sigma 35mm art lens at 1.4. And this photo was taken with a Canon 50mm at 1.2. There really isn't one lens to do everything you need but investing in a cheap, wide aperture lens will make a huge difference to the photos you take and reduce the amount of time editing in Lightroom or Photoshop.